नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फ्रेंड्स एज वैलेंटाइंस डे इज राउंड द कॉर्नर सो वी वुड बी वर्किंग ऑन सम हार्ट शेप ज्वेलरी पीसेस इन आर अपकमिंग वीडियोस सो हियर इन दिस वीडियो आई हैव ब्रॉट टू यू दिस हार्ट शेप्ड इयर एंड आई हैव नेम देम एज डांसिंग हार्ट इयर आई हैव मेड दीज इयर इन थ्री कलर्स दिस वन इज इन rose red color sorry rose pink color this is in olive green color and this one is in blue with cream color beads and here in all in both these earrings i have used muki seed beads but in this olive green earring i have used toho beads so you can make these earrings with both muki and tohos and in this video we are going to make this earring in amethyst color so let us see what all material do we need to make these dancing heart earrings so friends for making our dancing heart earring we would need these 8 mm rivolis here i am using this rivoli in dark amethyst color then i'll be using 11 oz in two colors here this is muki duracoat galvanized eggplant 11o seed bead and these are muki duracoat galvanized gold 11os then i'll be using these muki duracoat galvanized gold 15os here i'll be using this ear wire then i'll be working with muki thread and size 12 beading needle so let's get started so friends for making our dancing heart earring we would be using herring bone stitch and first we would bezel our rivoli the same mm rivoli with herring bone stitch so for making our bezel case we would pick up two 11o gold and two 11o eggplant these four beads and now i will bring these four beads down towards the end of my thread and now i'll be tying a double knot like this and now i will pass through all these four Eleven O's, and bring this tail in between these four beads. Like this, and now I'll be making a herringbone chain. So for this, I'll pick up one eleven o eggplant and one eleven o gold. You can use both these beads of the same color. Here I'm using these in two colors. If you want, you can use in single color. And now I will go down through this eleven o. Like this. Now here you can see that after adding these two beads on the top, I'm exiting through this eleven o gold, and now I will moving up through this adjacent eleven o eggplant and the one above it. So here, like this. Now again, I'll be adding another pair. So for this, I'm picking up one eleven o eggplant and one eleven o gold. Again, the same two beads and go down through this top eleven o gold. like this and now 
after exiting through this 11 o gold i will move up through this adjacent 11 o eggplant and the one above it so here like this Now I'll be adding my another pair. So I'll pick up one 11 o eggplant and one 11 o gold and go down through this 11 o gold. Move up through these two 11 o eggplant. Like this. So this way we would be making our herringbone chain for making our bezel case and in this herringbone chain uh, that is for bezeling our 8 mm rivoli we would need 18 pairs of these beads in our chain. Here I have added 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 pairs. I will be adding 13 more and come back. So friends here I have completed my herringbone chain with 18 pairs of these 11 o's. Let us count 2, 4, sorry, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 and 18. And now I will be making a ring of this chain for making our bezel case. As you can see that I am exiting through this 11 o eggplant right now. I will pass through this 11 o eggplant on the other side. So, first I will bring the two ends closer and then I will pass through this 11 o eggplant, move up through this 11 o gold. into the 11 o gold. On the opposite side into this 11 o eggplant and this one these two 11 o eggplant bring these closer and into these two 11 o gold bring these closer and here we have made a ring for making our bezel case and now I will place my rivoli into it very gently I will be placing my rivoli like this So here very gently we have to place the rivoli into this case and now bring this thread like this. So this is the back side of our bezel case and this is the front and now I will pick up 115 o gold and as you can see that I am exiting through this 11 o I will pass through these two this one and the one before it. like this
now into the next pair of 11 o's pick up one 15 o gold and pass through these two 11 o's into the next pair of 11 o's pick up one 15 o gold and pass through these two 11 o's push it in the front we have to keep our thread tight here into the next two 11 o's again one 15 o gold and pass through these two 11 o gold so this way i'll be adding these 15 o gold all through this round so here i have added these 15 o's and now after adding this last 15 o gold i'm stepping up into it like this and now i will pick up one 11 o eggplant and here I will pass through three 15 o's together one, two, and the third one. Like this, three 15 o's together. Here also we have to keep the tension tight. So again, I'm picking a one 11 o eggplant. And I'll pass through these three left fifteen o gold. Again, we have to keep our thread tight here. And my last eleven o eggplant, and into these three fifteen o's. Here we will pull our thread and you can see that as i have pulled my thread these beads here have come a little closer and now i will step up into this 11 o eggplant and now i will pick up 115 o gold and pass through this next 11 o Again, 115 o gold and pass through this next 11 o and my last 15 o gold and pass through this next 11 o eggplant. And now I will be passing through all these 15 o's. Like this so here you can see that we have closed our bezel case and now we will move to the front side of our bezel case so for this I will pass through this 11 o and into the 15 o and here into these two So here I'll be passing through these two 11 o's attached to this 15 o. And here you can see that I'm exiting through this 11 o gold and move into this one and the next one. These two 11 o eggplant. So this is our front side. So we have pulled our thread here at the back. It will just broaden the front side of our bezel case. And now we will embellish 
the front side and for this you can see that right now I'm exiting through this 11 ohm and again I'll be picking up 115 ohm gold and pass through these two 11 ohm eggplant push this in front pass through the next two 11 ohms pick up 115 ohm gold and pass through the same pair push this in front into the next pair of 11 ohms pick up 115 ohm gold and pass through this next so this way I'll be adding these 15 ohm gold all through this round so here I have added all my 15 ohm gold on the top here and now I will step up into this 15 ohm gold that I added just now now I will pick up 115 ohm gold and pass through this next 15 ohm gold like this again I will pick up 115 ohm gold and pass through this next 15 ohm gold again I will pick up 115 ohm gold and pass through this next 15 ohm gold and this way I'll be adding these 15 ohm gold all through this round now here I'm adding my last 15 ohm gold like this and now I'll pass through all these 15 ohm gold once again like this so here we have bezeled our rivoli and now we will be creating a heart shape around this bezel case so as you can see that i'm exiting through this 15 ohm gold and now i will move up into these two 11 ohms like this now here after bezeling we can cut off this tail and now here after exiting through these two 11 o's I will pick up one 11 o gold and pass through the same pair again like this now here after adding this 11 on the top of these two 11 eggplant I will pass through the pair of 11 gold at the back of these two like this Once again, I will pick up one eleven of gold and pass through the same pair. Like this. So, here you can see that I have added this pair of eleven o's and I will step up into this eleven o and now into this one like this now I will pick up one pair of 11 of gold and 
pass through this oligano like this now i will pick up another pair of 11 o's and pass through these two 11 o's like this now here we have three pairs of these 11 o gold and here you can see that i'm exiting through this 11 o gold and now I will create a shape, V shape here, and I'll pick up one 11 o eggplant. And here you can see that I'm picking up this 11 o eggplant, and now I will go down through this 11 o on the other side of this middle 11 o, like this. Now, I will pass through this middle 11 o and on the other side of this middle 11 o move up into this 11 o gold. And again, I will pick up one 11 o eggplant and pass through this 11 o gold on the other side. In a way, you can say that we are creating a pickle stitch on both the sides here. Again, I will pass through this middle 11 o up into this 11 o gold. And into this 11 o eggplant and into this 11 o eggplant now just pushing the beads like this and this is the center part for our heart shape and now as you can see, I am exiting through this 11 o eggplant. I will pick up two 11 o eggplant and pass through this next 11 o eggplant like this. Make them sit here and now I will. After exiting through this 11 o eggplant, I will pass through this 11 o gold and the middle one into this 11 o gold. Now I will pick up these two. Now here after picking up these two 11 o gold. I will pass through this 11 o the adjacent one here again I am doing the herringbone stitch so I will go down so this 11 o allow them to sit like this go down this 11 o gold into this 11 o gold now again i will pick up two 11 o gold and pass through this 11 o gold like this
into this eleven o gold. into this 11 o gold this one this 11 o eggplant adjacent one now i will pick up one pair of 11 o eggplant and here you can see i'm exiting through this one and I will pass through this adjacent one. Only this is the comp uh, little tricky part. Like this. Move up into this. 11 o eggplant now again I will pick up one pair of 11 o eggplant and pass through this adjacent one like this into the adjacent 11 o gold Pick up one pair of 11 o gold and pass through this 11 o gold like this. Now move up into these two 11 o's. Then pick up one pair of 11 o eggplant, go down into the adjacent 11 o eggplant, move up into this adjacent 11 o gold pick up one pair of 11 o gold and go down into this 11 o gold so here on this side we have added leaving this center 11 o we would be counting from these pairs 1, 2, 3 and 4. So here on this side we have added 1, 2, 3 and 4 pairs of 11 O's. And now I will move up into this adjacent 11 O eggplant. Again I will pick up 1 pair of 11 o eggplant go down into the adjacent 11 o eggplant like this up through this 11 o gold now here we have to make a curve so now we would be changing the size of these 11 o gold and now we would start adding 15 o gold here so i am picking up one pair of 15 o gold and pass through this 11 o gold move up into this 11 o gold this eggplant here we are changing the size of 11 o gold only we are not going to change the size of these 11 o eggplant so here we would be using these 11 o eggplant only 
into this 11 ohm come down move up into this 15 ohm gold pick up to 15 ohm gold go down into this adjacent 15 ohm gold move up into these two 11 11 ohm eggplant pick up one pair of 11 ohm eggplant go down into this 11 ohm eggplant up into this 15 ohm gold pick up one pair of 15 ohm gold go down through this 15 ohm gold into these two 11 o eggplant pick up one pair of 11 o eggplant go down through this pair of 11 o up into this 15 o gold Pick up one pair of 15 or gold. Down through this 15 or gold. Like this. So here you can see that it has started changing the direction here. And this way you can see I have added 1, 2, 3 and 4 pairs of 11 o and 15 o's. Here we need to add 9 pair of such 11 o's and 15 o's. So here I have added 1, 2, 3 and 4 pairs. I will be adding 5 more and come back. Now here you can see that I have added these 9 pairs. 11 o's and 9 pairs of these 11 o's and 15 o's. Here you can see 1, here this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So I have added 9 pairs of 11 o's and 15 o's, and you can see it has taken this curved shape here. And now we would be adding the pairs of 11 O's only. So here I am picking up one pair of 11 O eggplant. Up through this 15 O. Pick up one pair of 11 O gold. Now I am picking 11 O gold. And come down through this adjacent 11 o, 15 o gold, sorry. Up through these 11 o eggplant. Now, next pair of 11 o eggplant. into this 11 o gold pick up another pair of 11 o gold come down through this 11 o gold move up into this pair of 11 o eggplant Pick up one pair of 11 o eggplant. Come down through this adjacent 
एक प्लांट अप इनटू दिस इलेवन ओ गोल्ड वन पेयर ऑफ इलेवन ओ गोल्ड डाउन थ्रू दिस इलेवन ओ गोल्ड अप इनटू दिस टू सॉरी these two the adjacent one eleven o eggplant so here we have to add these pairs of eleven o's we would be adding seven pairs so this is one two three we would be adding four more and count them so here I have added seven pairs of these eleven o's. Now I am going up to this eleven o eggplant, and now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we would be attaching this seventh pair of eleven o gold to this rivoli bezel. So for this. After adding this pair of eleven o eggplant, like this, into this eleven o gold. Now, here you can see I have added these two beads to the center, top center here. And now I will count one, two, three, four, five, and six. I will add this, attach this eleven o to the sixth eleven o of this bezel here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I will be passing through this sixth eleven o. Like this, into this eleven o, now I will go to this one, and here again I will add this to. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So I will add it to six, eleven. Like this. Into this. Move up through this eleven o, pick up two eleven o gold, and pass through this eleven o like this. Move up. So here you can see that we have attached the seventh pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh pair to this rivoli. And now, now here, after attaching this seventh pair to this rivoli, I have added this eighth pair here. And I will be adding now ninth. So I'm picking up two eleven o's. Up into this eleven o gold. 
pick up one pair of 11 of gold down into this 11 of gold so this one is the ninth set now I will add the tenth pair So this is the tenth pair. Eleventh. And now the twelfth set so here. This was the seventh one that we attached to this rivoli, and now after that, we have this eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth. Twelve sets of eleven o's. Now, after adding this twelfth set, I will move up into this, and here we have reached the bottom tip of this heart shape. So here we are going to create a tip for our heart. So for this, I will pick up two eleven o eggplant. Go up. Now I am not adding this eleven o gold here. I will move up. into this after this 12th pair i will add one pair of 11 o eggplant and again one more pair of 11 o eggplant so here after this I have this 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th sets of 11 O's in both the colors and after 12 this 13th and 14th pairs in 11 O eggplant and now, now I will move up into these two 11 O's and here as i'm exiting through this one i will pass through this 12th one this 12th pair like this here we have to create a corner and now i will move into this 11 o the adjacent one again into this one like this now I will skip this 11 o and pass through this one like this
into now after exiting through this 11 o i will go to this next 11 o eggplant skip this one to create the tip and pass through the next one like this into this eleven o. and into this eleven o. now I will pick up one pair of eleven o gold and pass through this 11 o gold into this adjacent 11 o into this 11 o eggplant and pick up one pair of 11 o eggplant and pass through this 11 o eggplant Here I am exiting through this 11 oak plant. I will pass through this 11 oak plant and into this 11 oak good. Now here you can see that after exiting through this 11 o gold we have created this tip at the bottom and this is the bottom tip of our heart shape and now I will move up into this 11 o gold Pick up two eleven o gold and here I will go down through this next this adjacent eleven o gold and now I will move up through this adjacent eleven o eggplant like this and pick up to 11 o eggplant and go down through this adjacent 11 o eggplant like this so here i will move up through these two 11 o's like this and now you can see that i have added here counting from this one the bottom one one two three so i have added here three sets of 11 o gold and 11 o eggplant now again i'm going to pick up two 11 o gold and go down through the adjacent 11 o gold now i am adding the fourth set move up 
through this 11 oh eggplant pick up two 11 oh eggplant go down through this adjacent 11 oh eggplant and now I will move up through these two 11 oh gold Now again I am going to pick up two eleven o gold, go down through this adjacent eleven o gold, move up through this eleven o eggplant, pick up two eleven o eggplant. Go down through this adjacent 11 o eggplant, move up through these two 11 o gold. So here we have one, two, three, four, and five sets of these 11 o's, and now I'm going to add my sixth set of 11 o's, which I will be attaching to the center rivoli as we have done here so i'm picking up two eleven on gold and go down through this adjacent eleven on gold go up through this eleven on eggplant pick up two eleven on eggplant go down through this 11 oh eggplant and up to these two 11 oh gold. So here is my sixth set. You can see that here also I have attached my sixth set counting from this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Sixth. sixth one is attached to this rivoli and same way, I'll be attaching here also sixth one to the rivoli. So counting one, two, three, four, five, and sixth. Now, as you can see, I'm exiting through this 11 o. Here also, I have to count sixth 11 o. I am going to attach this 11 o to the sixth 11 o on this side. And I'll be counting after this one. Here you can see on the top I attach these two 11 O's to the center, top center. And now I will count from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So I'm going to attach to the 6th 11 O here. like this into this 11 o going down through the adjacent 11 o gold and here you can see that I attached this to this 11 o and now I'll be attaching this to the adjacent 11 o eggplant you can see that this is also the sixth one skipping these two attached to the top tip here one two three four five and six so right now i'm passing through this sixth eleven over here and into this eleven over at plus so here also I have attached my sixth set to the Rivoli 
and now I'll be adding more extensions to my heart shape on the left also here as we have done here I'll be doing the same way on this side so again I'll be picking up two eleven o eggplant move up through this eleven o gold pick up two eleven o gold go down through this eleven o gold move up into adjacent 11 o eggplant these two pick up two 11 o eggplant go down move up through this 11 o gold up to 11 o gold go down to the 11 o gold adjacent one move up through these two 11 o eggplant so here we are adding these sets of 11 o gold and 11 o eggplant and we would be adding them in the same number as we did on this side here we added 12 sets counting from this bottom one. Let us count once again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. And now here I have added 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 sets. Here also I have to add 12 sets of these 11 O's. So I'll be adding 3 sets more and come back. So here we have completed our 12 sets of 11 O's. And now we have to make this curve that we made on this side. We would be making it on this side also. So for making this curve, we would be adding 15 O gold on the inner side and 11 O eggplant on the outer side as we did here. Now here I added 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 sets of such beads, 9 sets of 15 of gold and 11 of eggplant. So I will be adding those here also. So for that I will be picking up 1 pair of 11 of eggplant. Go down. Now I will move up through this 11 o gold, and now I'll be picking up two 15 o gold and go down through this 11 o gold. Move up through these two 11 o eggplant. So here I added my first set of 11 o and 15 o's. Now I will be adding my second set. For this I am picking up 2 11 o eggplant. Go down. Move up through this 15 o gold. Pick up 2 15 o gold. Go down through this 15 o gold. Move up. Through these two 11 o eggplant so I added two sets of 11 o's and 15 o's my third set so I'm picking up a pair of 11 o eggplant going down to this 11 o eggplant moving up to this 15 o gold pick up Two fifteen o gold go down 
through this 15 ohm both so here you can see that this has started taking shape this has started curving down tilting down towards the inner side and as we are going to add more of these sets it will tilt toward the inner side so here i have added three sets of 11 o eggplant and 15 o gold i'll be adding six more and come back so here i have added my sets of 11 o eggplant and 15 o gold i have added in all nine such sets let us count one two three four five six seven eight and nine so you can see that it has taken the shape of this curve and now we are going to join this here and here also you can see we have the sets of 11 o's so we have on this side one two three and four sets and here I already added one, two sets. So I'll be adding two more sets of 11 O's here. So for this, I'm going to pick up two 11 O eggplant. Go down. Move up through this 15 O gold. And now I'm going to pick up 11 o gold we are not going to make any more curve we are going to join these so we are going to pick up two 11 o gold and go down through this 15 o gold move up through these two 11 o eggplant pick up 2 11 o eggplant go down through this 11 o eggplant move up through this 11 o gold pick up 2 11 o gold go down through this 11 o gold now this was our last set of 11 o's to be added and now we are going to join these two ends together so for this i'll bring these two ends closer first i'll be joining 11 o eggplant so here for joining these two 11 o eggplant here you can see i'm exiting through this 11 o now i will pass through this 11 o eggplant Pass through this adjacent 11 o eggplant and into these two 11 o eggplant like this. And now I will go down through this 11 o gold into this 11 o gold on the opposite side and I'm going to join it into this adjacent 11 o gold on this side here you can see I'm exiting through this 11 o gold now I will go on the other side into this 11 o gold and now here after exiting through this 11 o gold I will move up 
into this 11 ohm gold on the opposite side into 11 ohm eggplant these two 11 ohm eggplant again moving to the other side into here you can see I'm exiting through this 11 ohm eggplant and now I will pass through the adjacent 11 ohm eggplant and these two the one we have to join into these two 11 ohm gold into these into this one 11 o eggplant into the adjacent 11 o eggplant into this 11 o gold this 11 ohm eggplant and now we are going to join these two 11 ohm gold on the in inner edge Here you can see that I'm exiting through this 11 of gold. Now I will pass through the adjacent 11 of gold adjacent to 11 of gold. Now I have to pass through this 11 of eggplant into this 11 of gold, the adjacent one. And moving on to the other side. Pass through this adjacent eleven of gold and into the one on the other side. So here I have just finished my thread. So I will tie a knot here. It's better to tie the knot on the back side like this and I will move through this 11 o into these 11 o's on the outer side and into these 11 of gold on the inner side and now I can cut off my thread my earring is not yet complete uh, I have just completed the basic shape here now I'm going to add more thread and come back now here I have taken more thread on my needle and now I will be adding it to this component here. So I am going to start it from here. Just 
Jaya Nath. Move up into a couple of beats. Going down. Again, I'm going to move up. this so this way we can add our thread and now I'm going to cut off this extra thread from here and now I'll move up into these 11 o's these 15 o's and the 11 o's and we are going to add the top part here as I have done in this earring so here I added this on one two starting from this pair one two and third and fourth pair so Here, I will pass through these two 15 o's and into these two 11 o gold. Now, I will move up into the 11 o eggplant and We'll pass through this and this 11 o eggplant. These are the third and fourth. If we count from here, one, two, three, and four. So here, these last two 11 o these last two 11 o eggplants just before the sets of these 15 o's, we are going to add the upper part. Now, I am going to pick up one 11 of eggplant and one 11 of gold and I will pass through these two 11 of eggplant like this. Now, I will Move on to the other side into the adjacent two 11 o's. You can see here one, two, leaving first and second set. I am passing through the third and fourth one. Like this. Now, after exiting through this. 11 o eggplant here I'm going to pick up one 11 o gold and one 11 o eggplant and pass through these two 11 o eggplant move up through this 11 o gold allow them to sit and now we are going to make the extension above these beads using a ring bone stitch so for this I am picking up two 11 o gold go down into this 11 o gold move up through this 11 o eggplant 
again I'm going to pick up two 11 o eggplant go down so this adjacent 11 o eggplant allow the beads to sit and move up through these two 11 o gold again pick up two 11 o gold go down through this adjacent 11 o gold move up through this 11 o eggplant pick up two 11 o eggplant go down through this adjacent 11 o eggplant move up to these two 11 of gold again I'm going to pick up two 11 of gold go down through this adjacent 11 of gold Move up through this 11 o eggplant. Pick up two 11 o eggplant. Go down through this 11 o eggplant. Move up through these two 11 o gold. And now I'm going to add the last set on this side. So for this, I'm picking up 11 o gold. Moving up through this 11 o eggplant, going down through these, moving up into these two 11 o gold. So, here you can see that I have added one, two, three, four, and five sets of these 11 o's, and now I'm going to make a curve here. An angle here so for this I'm going to add 11 O's to this pairs of 11 O gold only and not to this 11 O eggplant so here we are going to make an angle so for this I will pick up one pair of 11 O eggplant go down into this 11 O gold through this 11 o gold and 11 o eggplant pick up one pair of 11 o gold going down like this now this pair of 11 o eggplant would be the center one so here I will pass through right now I'm exiting through this 11 o eggplant I will go down into this 11 o gold up into this adjacent 11 o gold and now I will skip this 11 o eggplant and pass through this 11 o gold. Here, like this, into now I will pick up one pair of 11 o gold. And pass through this eleven o gold. I will skip this eleven o eggplant and pass through this eleven o gold. Like 
this. Once again, I will pass through this 11 ohm and skip in this one. So you can see I'm passing through these two. Reinforce the shape like this. Now, I will pick up one 11 ohm eggplant and pass through this 11 ohm gold up into the adjacent 11 ohm gold. Pick up one 11 ohm eggplant. And pass through the same 11 ohm gold like this into this 11 ohm eggplant up through this 11 ohm eggplant and down through this one. So I have created a base for making the extension of herringbone chain here. Now again I'm going to pick up a pair of 11 o eggplant and I will go down through this next 11 o eggplant like this up into these 11 o gold picking up two 11 o gold into this Up into 11 o eggplant to 11 o eggplant and down Here again we need to add 5 sets as we did on this side. So here you can see I have added 1, 2, 3 sets. I will be adding 2 more. Again into this. Picking up two eleven o eggplant and now my last set into these two 11 of gold. Now I am going to attach this to the heart shape here. You can see I have added 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 sets and now I am going to add this attach it to here. So for that I will be counting 1, 2 and I have to attach it to this third and fourth 11 o's. So as I'm exiting through this 11 o gold, so 1, 2, so I'll be passing through 3 and then 4. Like 
like this. Move up into this 11 o eggplant. Once again, I'll be going down through this 11 o fold into these two 11 o eggplant. into the adjacent to 11 eggplant move this one third and fourth by mistake I just passed through this fifth one I had to pass through only third and fourth 11 o's here only so I'll go back side and now I'll be passing through third and fourth one two three and four like this move up into this 11 o gold into this 11 o eggplant and then into these two 11 o's and now I will move up into this into this 11 o gold and this 11 o eggplant at the center so now we are going to make this extension on the top so for this i'm going to pick up two 11 o eggplant and pass through this 11 o eggplant at the center again I'm going to pass through this 11 o and pick up two 11 o eggplant and pass through this one <laughs> up into this 11 o pick up two 11 o eggplant go down again we are doing this herringbone stitch here two 11 o eggplant go down through this adjacent one Moving up through these two 11 o's, pick up two 11 o eggplant, go down through the adjacent one, move up through this one, pick up two 11 o eggplant, going down through this 11 o. Moving up and now after adding these three sets, I'm going to pick up only one 11 of gold, go down through this adjacent 11 of eggplant, move up through this 11 of eggplant into this. 11 of gold down through this 11 of eggplant up into this 11 of eggplant into this 11 of gold and now we are going to make a loop for our ear wire so for this I am picking up 
एट फिफ्टीन ऑफ गोल्ड सो हेयर आई हैव दीज फोर एंड फोर एट फिफ्टीन ऑफ गोल्ड एंड पास थ्रू दिस इलेवन ऑफ गोल्ड once again i'll pass through all these 15 rows i'll be passing through all these 15 rows once again just to reinforce my loop Now I will go down through these three levels here and pick up one eleven of eggplant and go down through this eleven of move up into this eleven of very gently we are going to add these eleven of here. up through all these three eleven o's into this eleven o gold down through all these three eleven o eggplant pick up one eleven of eggplant pass through this eleven of eggplant up through the adjacent one pick up one eleven of eggplant and pass through all these three eleven so here we have joined these and now i will pass through this 11 of gold and into all these 11 of very gently we have to do this so that we can retain this shape here you can see this shape and now after exiting through these 11 os i'm going to pass through this one and here you can see that i'm going to the center part and i will come out you can see that right now i'm exiting through this 11o here i will pass through this center here and come out through this thread like this now i'm i have come out through this center thread that is in between these two beads now after passing through this one i will pass through this next thread and now i will pick up one eleven o eggplant and here i will pass through this first thread and the second one
we have to be very careful while adding these beads like this and you can see that we added this bead in between these two you can see this now after exiting through this one now I will pass through the thread of the next pair like this pick up one eleven o eggplant go back into this eleven o and once again we are going to pass through the two threads these two the one before this need and like this now I will pass through this next pair like this pick up one eleven o, and pass through this first one the second one sorry and now I will pass through go down into these two threads here And into this one you may find it a bit difficult in the beginning but adding these beads will really make your shape of this heart firm and beautiful so if you find it difficult you may skip this but it makes it enhances the beauty of our earrings so this is the important part of the earring very patiently you have you you will have to do this picking up one eleven o here very carefully we have to pass through the thread only one thread at a time and then into this eleven o down through this these two threads like this and then pick up the thread of the next pair again pick up one eleven o pass through this 11 o again going down into these two threads and pick up the next thread Then pick up one eleven o. Go back into this eleven o. Go down into these two threads. Add into this next thread. Can pick up one eleven o, go back, into these two threads, and pick up the thread of the next pair. up 111 o go back into this 11 o again pick up 
the thread like this pick up the next thread so here you can see that this way we have added these 11 o's here and we would be adding these 11 o's till we reach this thread and i'll be adding these till i reach this thread and then i'll come back now here you can see that I have added these 11 O's and they are sitting with each the each of these pair and now I will pass through this one here I'm picking up this thread At this corner you might find it difficult to pick up the thread so we have to be very careful here so here I have picked up this thread and now I will pick up one eleven o and pass through this go down And passing through these two now I will pick up this thread this one pick up one eleven o and pass through this eleven o like this moving down now after picking up this thread now I will pass through this thread on the other side and here we are going to add the bead at the tip so for this I will pick up one eleven o and pass through this again I will go down through these two like this and now for reinforcing this shape this step here I will go back into this eleven o into this 11 o like this I'm attaching this to the tip so it won't move if you want you can just attach it from the back side but if you want you can add a thread with this front bead also and now I'm going to here after exiting through this I'm going to pass through this 11 at the back and through this I will come out from the center you can see that I'm coming from the center thread and now I will pick up the thread of this next pair pick up one eleven o go back into this eleven o again down through this one and into this and the next one the next two threads so here I have exited through this one and now I'm going to add the bead here 
like this. Pass through these. Here are these two threads and into so here I'm coming out through this the third one the next one so again I'm going to pick up this 11 o pass through this and into And now I will pick up the thread from here and pick up one eleven o. Go back into this eleven o. Down. Like this. So here you can see that we have added these beads and created a tip at the bottom and same way I'm going to add these 11 O's till I reach this thread. So friends here I have added these 11 O's and now I have reached this bead here and now I'll be adding this 11 O eggplant here. So I have picked up this thread and now I will go back into this 11 o and now under this like this. Now I will pick up this thread this pair. Pick up one eleven o eggplant, go back and like this. Now I will pick up this thread, this one. This fifth pair one, two, three, four, and five. So I'm picking up the thread of this fifth pair just next to these beads. Like this. Pick up one eleven o eggplant and I will go back into this 11 so here you can see we have added these 11 o's and here we have completed our earring and now after adding this 11 o I will go back into all these beads that we added just now on the outer edge I will pass through all, all of these now I will tie a knot in between Move up. Okay, 
navel tie knot just to secure my thread and now into this thread into these beads at the back and now here we can cut off our thread So friends here we have completed our dancing heart earring and now I will slip in this ear like this. So here is our earring. So this is our dancing heart earring in amethyst color. Friends in this in these earrings in our dancing heart earring we have used herringbone stitch all over and herringbone stitch uh, do take some time in growing up and building up these structures and all but they really look very pretty very good and i know it these earrings requires a lot of patience it may take a bit of your time but after you finished up with these earrings they would you would look gorgeous when you wear them i i have made these earrings in few more colors and i have shown them at the beginning of the video and these are the ones that we made in the video and here i have these in a uh, rose uh, rose pink color then I also made these in olive green color here I have used tohos in making these olive green earrings and if you want to make these earrings with toho uh, you can use the same number of beads on the outer structure only you will have to change the number of beads for bezeling this rivoli if you want to know how to bezel this rivoli this 8mm Rivoli with Toho's, please do let me know in the comment section. I will definitely make a small tutorial for bezeling this Rivoli with Toho's. And you can see the finish with Toho's also. And here I have made these earrings with Preciosa beads. These are not Mukis, these are Preciosas. And you can see the finish here so i have made these earrings my dancing heart earrings with different types of beads and as you can see that i have made these in different type of beads and dif different colors you can feel the pleasure that i'm really i was really, really a pleasure in making these earrings and it was really interesting so i hope you would also you would also find it interesting and you would also love making them so friends, if you love my videos, my designs, please do subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to press the bell icon so that you may get notified when I'll upload my next video. Thank you.